Hey guys, welcome to The Secret History Living Inside Your Aquarium. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about what I have going on here, which is we have some ADA plants. I got some of these from my local fish store and then I ordered some other ones. Uh, basically, usually I can find them at a, at a good price at Aquarium's End, so shout out to Steve Waldron. Uh, but sometimes I know that I can find them just a couple bucks cheaper or about break even with shipping and then I'll get some fish or something. And so I'll end up ordering from another small time like breeder or something like that, uh, or aquatic arts, something along those lines. But I really do like the ADA that's, uh, Aquascape or Aqua Design Amato, um, uh, and that's from Takashi Yamato. That's his brand. There is their website there. And there are definitely different um, different distributors around the country. Tropica is also another good uh, plant that, uh, distributor that does, uh, or, or manufacturer, I should say, that does these tissue clones. But what I wanted to point out is these all came in cups and clumps, and uh, you're probably familiar with that. But today, specifically, I picked up some Pink Panther. And some of the other stuff I picked up, I actually wanted to wait on. Because in these cups, what you have here is this gelatin. And this gelatin has uh, nitrates, ammonia, nitrates, uh, phosphates, magnesium... Uh, manganese, all sorts of stuff that plants crave, <laughs> essentially. So, in the in this gel, especially if you have a very new cup, and you'll know by the gel is like either white or super uh, charcoal colored, like a uh, here we go. Here's still a piece of it in the sink. Um, you'll see more of a charcoaly color there uh, on that piece. But it'll either be dark or light, and that depends on the root structure is what seems to determine that and the color of the roots. If you've got really super white roots, it's nice to have the darker gel because you can make sure you got it all off. But I just wanted you to check out how different plants grow very differently in these tissue cultures. And some people don't like these. I love them. Uh, you know, the price, it's definitely, you can get more bang for your buck other places. But there's no snails, there's no contamination, fungi, anything funky going down like that. Uh, and, you know, if you know what you're doing, if you're experienced with this and you know which species to give a shot uh, and which ones are still a little sketchy, uh, it, it'll help out, you know, and I can't go through and name them all right now, but you know when you see good root development like this, that even if it is a uh, immersed growth plant, as in it's been growing in its little pot in its hermetically sealed environment, you know that it's got enough of a root ball that even if it all melts back, which I've learned that a lot of these don't because they have, uh, they have, like the right amount of humidity and they're just young and they're grafted off of an already aquatic plant, I think. Uh, but some of them don't need to melt back, which is nice, especially if they're young. If they've been in the cup like a month or two, then uh, at least uh, out for sale for that long. They've probably been in there longer than that just growing. But uh, then sometimes you'll run into other issues, rot, uh, powdery, like a moldy rot type thing. Uh, just because every plant has some sort of, you can't get them totally clean, like of bacteria or viral sized stuff. Because every plant has partners that it uses to fix nitrates or sugars or whatnot, different things. And what you're looking for is really these healthy roots uh, this is some hydrocotyl of, uh, I think it's a ver verticulata, uh, or verticulati, and this one looks like little toadstools. You may have seen it in my last video uh, with where um, Steve at Aquarium Zen goes over his, uh, his recent aquascape. 
but these will spread out and grow. And a lot of times you'll see that they get leggy like this and there's not necessarily roots. So you don't want the cups that are doing that if you can help it. Like this was all that was leggy out of this group. The rest were all pretty dense and that helps. I've noticed with these plants, my best luck always comes not when I cut out every little piece and I'm saving, you know, this and this. I'll still plant those, but the chance of those taking is a lot lower because they get disrupted or whatever. Fish mess with them. Uh, the light doesn't reach them. There's a million reasons that that could happen. But I like to plant larger pieces. I could break this up into three or four more crypts. But this pink flamingo, I want to just keep in as big a clumps as possible. And when they're young, you can actually look at the bottom. And uh, let me show you uh, another one over here. Because I actually bought one way back. And you can see how much more this one has grown. Uh, this is another type of crypt. But you, oh, but you can see how you can actually make out in that cross section uh vaguely i mean it's more to the trained eye but here 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 and somewhere in here plus here they have inoculated that cup and that means that they took tissue samples and grew them out which will then grow into its own thing now almost everything in this tank was that way. These big crypt spiralis, they were exactly like those crypts, and they grew that way uh, by just planting them here. Same with the Busophilandra back there. Little pieces, I'll stick little pieces, you know, wherever. But it's also important to know wh what your rhizome uh, selections are versus what needs soil and that sort of thing. And so when you've got a nubious, uh, Nana petite or petite Nana, something like this, uh, you need just flow of water and nutrients in the water. You don't really need, uh, soil. In fact, you could rot and smother your plant that way. And same with Busophilandra, you can kind of anchor it into the soil with one of the runners or two, but you can see here, this is kind of cool. It's the first time I've seen this with, if we can get it to focus. You can actually make out the chunks in these little spikes that were inoculated. And there's five in each cluster, uh, whether or not they've spread out or not. But they must have a syringe or pipette with five little tissue pieces that then they... Do, 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 they go around and, and inoculate with. Uh, so that's kind of cool. You can see the clump of older tissue. And so to me, that is going to be the important part to save, keep together. I don't want to split that up and traumatize, 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 traumatize the plant any more than necessary. So let's get these guys planted and hopefully you'll see them uh, growing in the next few weeks as you take a look at that aquascape over there um, in the living room, the, the small 17 and a half gallon uh, aquarium zen, mostly sponsored uh, tank. So I hope you guys all are doing well. Learn something about picking out your um, tissue cultures, clone plants, whatever you want to call them. Uh, and just kind of a little bit about the way it works when they, you know, use the pipettes and, uh, just to really make sure you understand if something needs to be planted or tied on to something or in the soil or uh, like this, it can go either way. Some people float things for a while, but just exactly what you need to be doing with it in order for it to succeed. So to find out how that all goes and it getting planted and all that jazz, please like, subscribe, and if you want to... Uh, help the channel out, you're feeling feisty, you can also check us out at uh, the Patreon link in the description, and uh, that's very appreciated, uh, as I am not currently working uh, working a 9 to 5 job right now as I'm recovering, uh, and this is kind of my hobby job, and uh, uh, you know, buying and selling these plants and fish is part of how I'm getting by right now, so... 
uh, and you'll have first dibs on any of the plants or fish I'm raising uh, when you do so. So, all that said, take care of yourselves, take care of your plants and the people around you, and it'll all come back to take care of you, and uh, that's what we need in the world. So I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.